And the Jews might be thinking, is he confirming the Torah and rejecting the Christians? Which one is he confirming? And Allah says, وَأَنزَلَ التَّوْرَاةَ وَالْإِنْجِيلَ And he sent down the Torah and the Injil. He sent down both. And now imagine both of those religions are there in Medina. And when they heard Torah, the Jews got happy. Okay, okay, Torah. We got endorsed. But wait a second. He also endorsed what? Injil. And with the Christians, the Christian concept, by and large, with some variety was, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, now that he saved us by sacrificing himself, we no longer have to follow God's law. Just accepting Jesus has saved us. But once you mention Torah, you're mentioning the law. So now you're, you're upsetting the Jews and you're upsetting the Christians by just saying, he's revealed the book to you. And by the way, he revealed Torah and Injil before too. Because neither of them can accept both. They have to reject one of them. One of them rejects it completely. The Jews reject the Injil completely. And the, the, the Christians reject the Torah practically. Practically. None of its rules apply. So they do different kinds of kufr, outside kufr and inside kufr. But we're not even talking about kufr of the Qur'an. We're talking about kufr of Torah and Injil of each other. Even though the Old Testament is common to them. So what is the Qur'an doing? Saying before you come and question the faith of these sahaba and tell them that they're following the wrong religion, have you thought about what you believe? That you're not exactly standing, you're, you're, you're not exactly standing on concrete ground. It's a lot of thin ice you're standing on yourself. And this is where the Qur'an begins. وَأَنزَلَ التَّوْرَاتَ وَالْإِجِيلِ بِالْقَبْلُ هُدَى لِلنَّاسِ A long time ago, it used to be guidance for people. وَأَنزَلَ الْفُرْقَانَ Allah sent what divides the right from the wrong. This is again a description of the Qur'an. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِآيَاتِ اللَّهِ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ شَدِيدٌ وَاللَّهُ عَزِيزٌ بُلْتِقَانٌ Those who disbelieve, and now this kufr could refer to them, but it's actually more directly seems to be referring to the Quraysh. Because we just lost a battle to the Quraysh. Allah says, لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ شَدِيدٌ They have severe punishment. And Allah is very mighty in taking revenge. Meaning just because they won in Uhud means nothing. That doesn't mean they got away from Allah's punishment. That doesn't mean that Allah is not going to avenge. None of that is changed. This should not be a crisis for you. This should not be a problem for you. وَاللَّهُ عَزِيزُ ذُنْدِقُوهُ but the next ayah seems like it's a completely different subject. Allah says, "In Allah la yakhfa alayhi shay'un fil ardi wa la fil sama." Allah, nothing is hidden from him, from him, not in the earth, not in the sky. This is a really cool reference. Not in the earth, not in the sky, especially when it comes to Jesus. You figure out why the earth and the sky are important to mention. He says, "Who al ladhi yusawwirukum fil arhami kaifa yasha?" He made you inside the bellies of your mothers however he wants. He makes you in the bellies of your mothers however he wants. Now this is a pretty remarkable thing to... In the middle of a conversation about the Torah and the Injil, what are we talking about babies for? What's, this, what's the reason for this? Well, how can we understand this? First and foremost, when Allah creates in the womb however he wants, doesn't that include the virgin birth of Mary, oh, of Jesus? SubhanAllah. Then the accusation of the Israelites that this is the Jews, that this is an illegitimate birth, gets destroyed. But there's something else. Allah talks about this time when I was inside my mother and you were inside your mother. Allah talks about the time, this time other places in the Quran too. And He says, you know, you were in, He brought you out from the bellies of your mothers. You knew nothing. This is a time when you knew nothing. Now Allah is starting by saying, Allah knows you from the time you didn't even know yourself. Allah was aware of you before you became aware of yourself. So now that you've come out of your mother and I've come out of my mother, now still Allah knows me better than I know myself. And the things that I'm saying on the outside, the criticisms that I'm making on the outside, Allah knows what's coming on my tongue. But Allah also knows what is in the depths of my heart. He knows that too. He's calling out people and their intentions. 